Hey guys, package in the mail today. Let's not waste any time and open this thing up. This package comes courtesy of the folks over at Horticulture Lighting Group. So let's open it up and see what we got. So here we are just looking at a few of the things that come with this kit right there is the driver of the power supply. It's a 24 volt output and we've got some cables, hangers to hang up the panel. Uh, the panel itself is a 3000K unit and on this board there are 120 uh, Samsung LEDs on this thing. So pretty nice looking pretty thin, pretty slick. It comes ready to go. All you have to do is plug one end into the panel, the other end you plug into the wall, and you get a really bright light. You're looking at 10,000 plus lumens with right around 65 watts of power. And the cool thing about this is, yeah, it does actually measure what it says it does for wattage. A lot of LED companies uh, try to cheat you on this, but this, this unit uses what it says it does. So it's such a bright light. Um, you know, it's equivalent to like a 100 watt T5 or 150 watt CFL, so really efficient. This is the way that lighting is going to go in the hydroponic world. Comparing this board to two uh, 24 inch T5s that I had, which run about 50 watts, uh, you notice a big difference. Uh, these lights, although they're good, they, they really don't compare to the panel from HLG. So a few years back when I bought a high output T5, I thought I was buying kind of the latest and greatest that you could get for vegging plants. When you look at something like this versus LEDs nowadays, this stuff is already getting to be quite outdated. Uh, a lot of stuff is moving towards LED just because it is that much more efficient. A light like this might have uh, maybe 95 lumens per watt, whereas a panel like this, you're looking at maybe 155 lumens per watt. So efficiency, this is looking better. You know, uh, life of the bulb, T5s, when you look at it, they're really only good for a few years before you should start replacing them, and a lot of people don't. Uh, whereas a panel like this, you probably got a lot more years on it than something like this. So price-wise, obviously something like this is going to cost you a bit more than a T5, but I think you're getting a lot more when you're getting a panel like this versus this. Not to mention, it's just going to be easier to manage uh, a board like this and store a board like this than it is to be dealing around dealing with T5s. So the HLG65 comes in a few different Calvin ratings, higher ones being good for vegging, growing plants, uh, lower ratings being good for flowering plants. They're simulating more of that autumn light where it's signaling a plant to start flowering and stop growing. It's nice that they have options like that with these boards. I look forward to testing out if we could flower a plant with something like an HLG65 that's only putting out 65, 66 watts. I'm really excited to try out these new LED quantum boards. I think it's going to be really interesting to see how they work. So to have these new lights, these new nutrients, a new grow tent, and a new DWC system, we're going to need some plants. So I've started some seeds the other day. Uh, they're just some pepper plants that we're going to be growing. And hopefully we can give these plants a shot and run them under some new equipment. 
And that's about all I got for this one, so I'll see you guys on the next one.